Time now is 634. What will school look like this fall? This morning, we're learning about what it could look like for Huntsville City Schools. Let's go ahead and check in now with Way 31, Sierra Phillips. She joins us live in Huntsville with a breakdown of the district's three different plans they say they have ready to go. Sierra? Those three different plans are traditional learning, blended learning, and all virtual learning. Now, it all depends on the health situation over the summer and going into the fall. Now, take a look at that first plan. It's traditional learning. It's what we're all accustomed to. It's in-person and daily attendance in-class instruction. There would need to be no current surge or any, a very low number of cases. Option two is blended. Students would have a staggered schedule using both in-person and virtual learning. This would be implemented if there is an increase in daily cases or concern for a new spike in cases. Option three is all virtual. This would happen if there's a high rate of daily cases in the fall. Uh, while as a nation there's a lot of uncertainty both now and in the fall, what we do want our families to know is that we are working diligently as a district to prepare several frameworks that promote a, sal a safe and healthy environment for teaching and learning. All students will have the option to register for virtual classes beginning June 5th. Now again, this could all change. It really depends on what happens over the summer and into the fall. There'll be another board meeting next Thursday where we should learn some more information. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.